Okay, so battery upgrades. A couple of people have been asking me about what options there are for battery upgrades. Um, there's quite a lot of information available for sort of Nissan Leafs and things like that, but not so much for Zoe's. Um, so yeah, this is something I've looked into quite a bit because we've got a Zoe 40 um, and obviously there's a bigger battery Zoe available. Um, and so yeah, it's quite an interesting subject, really what's possible. Um, and some things are easier than others, a bit like uh, this is sort of CCS one, I suppose. So uh, first thing to say is if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Um, it helps me to make more videos. Um, and if you've got any questions or ideas for videos, things you want to know, uh, feel free to drop them in the comments. I'm sort of interested in EVs. I enjoy working on them and helping garages fix them and stuff like that. So um, yeah, thank you. Uh, right, so this is a Zoe 22. So the Zoe came out in 2013 um, and up to about mid 2016, they had a 22 kilowatt hour battery. And that gives you a range of around 80 miles on a full charge, okay, with 22 kilowatt hours. Then from um, uh, late 2016, early 2017, um, the Zoe 40 came out. So this is my Mrs. Zoe, um, 40 kilowatt hours. Um, architecture of the vehicle, general architecture is very, very similar, okay. Um, so nothing vastly changed. The main difference was the battery was repackaged um, and it had 40 kilowatt hours. So these came out, yeah, so second half of 2017. So this is about one of the earliest, the 66 plate. Um, and they are good for a range of around about 140 miles. Um, you can get a bit more or a bit less. This you can even get 160 miles out of if you drive it sort of pretty gently. Um, and this has done 114,000 now. So um, the batteries last really well. So that's 40 kilowatt hours. Okay, um, and this is the uh, ZE50. So from um, 2020, uh, with the facelifted Zoe, um, these had a 52 kilowatt hour battery. So in terms of range, we're talking about, we should really do 200 miles in the winter, um, but there or thereabouts, maybe 180 in the winter and sort of 220 in the summer, something like that. But yeah, these are quite cool because I know lots of people who weren't sure about electric cars, but when you can do 200 miles um, for the vast majority of the year, or if you drive carefully in the winter, at that point, it's just a car. It doesn't matter what, you know, um, whether it's electric or what, it just sort of fits the need. So yeah, people I know have, have got them and use them, which is quite cool. Um, so um, that's the sort of three variations of battery. So what I should say first is that with the Leafs, there was um, battery extenders. So you could have extra batteries put in the boot and sort of linked together so that they would charge and discharge with the main battery um, and that would give you extra capacity um, so they did it in the boot with the leaf um, and then the emv 200 which is the electric nissan van they did an extra box one company did an extra box underneath um, for extra batteries that um, as far as i'm aware is not available for the zoe i would also kind of really not recommend it i've seen battery extenders being removed from vehicles at a garage in the uk because they had problems with them um and i just kind of looking at the quality of it and understanding how the vehicles work and how closely the safety and monitoring is tied into the main battery anything like that kind of extender battery i really you know um I'm not a fan of that kind of thing. Uh, I'm aware of a guy who's based in the sort of Milton Keynes area who will custom build battery packs, um, which are quite expensive, but he will basically build you anything for any car. And that is pretty amazing, but quite expensive. So probably not something that most people are gonna go with. Maybe I'll put that in a future video, but just in terms of what's kind of readily available and moving batteries between different Zoes, that's what I'm focusing on at the moment, because that's probably what most people are kind of interested in. So. We've got the Zoe 22 and we've got the Zoe 40. So as I said, the architecture of these vehicles is very similar. Obviously the main difference is the battery is bigger. So the wiring inside the battery and all that kind of stuff is the same. It's basically just got different cells. So these two batteries are interchangeable. I could take the battery out of this car, um, the Zoe 40 and put it in the 22 um, and it would work. And that car would instantly just have more range. There'd be no fault codes. It is just literally a straight swap. Um, so that that is an easy upgrade people have done it um it's a little bit fun and games when you try and buy a second hand battery because obviously you've got to get it shipped somewhere you've got to get it fitted you kind of got to have a garage that are willing to do it but the zoe 40 batteries are available 
um, and provided you can find a good one. And they last very well because they have battery cooling um, and also battery heating um, on the Z40s onwards. So that is a that is quite a cool upgrade option if you've got a 22. Obviously, it depends on whether that money is worth spending on that car, but um, that's a sort of a different debate. Technologically, um, you can put it in and it'll work. So what about the big one? So what about the Z50? So this is something I looked into when the Z50 kind of came out because we've got the, the 40 and I was kind of thinking about that. Um, so with the, with the Z50, there's a lot of changes under the skin um, as well as it's not just a, it's not just a front end um, facelift and a, and a new dash kind of thing. There are a lot of changes underneath the vehicle, underneath the skin. Um, and unfortunately they have updated the way the battery is wired um, and the kind of internal mechanics with the with the Z40 it really is the same battery but with bigger cells um, but with the Z50 there are a lot of um, changes internally to the battery so if you put a Z50 battery so if I took the battery out of this car and put it in either of these two it will not work the comms are different the car and the battery it's it's been updated it's been changed um now you may be aware of can bridges um which are kind of like man in the middle like translation devices where you can put them in between different batteries and these this is done on lifts quite a lot there are some solutions for that so it would be possible to get that z50 battery and to put it into one of these cars but it's not a plug and play um, you have to get a Cambridge and have it programmed and all that kind of stuff. So there's extra cost, cost and complexity. But it has been done. I've seen some uh, sort of ZD22s that have had 52 kilowatt hour batteries in it. Um, seems to be quite popular in certain places in Europe. Um, and it's quite impressive to see the old dash on an older car with the big range. It's quite cool. Um, and these batteries, because it's difficult to just take that battery, you can't take it and stick it straight in. It means these 52 kilowatt hour batteries are really good value and you can get them for about 3,000 um, for a low mileage Z50 battery because people know it's not that simple, um, but that then drives the price down. So maybe that gives you the, the sort of option that's giving you the budget to then get the Cambridge. Um, and I know a guy who's got a Cambridge um, sort of programs it and can make that work for you. So that is possible. So, um, yeah, that's the sort of um, the sort of upgrade paths there, um, the things that you commonly might be looking at. Um, in terms of, right, there's a battery out of breakers. How do I check if it's any good? Okay, that is quite difficult. And I really would only be buying it from a breakers that you trust because um, the guy that, um, that does the can bridges for the Zoe's developed them. He bought a battery from a breakers and basically the car had actually been in a flood um, and the battery had water in it and it was just all corrosion and all the cells were just um, all dead basically, no good at all. Um, so that was a, you know, a several thousand pound paperweight. Um, he got his money back from the breakers but you just end up in a real load of hassle, difficult situation kind of thing. So um, it is difficult, you kind of want to be sure of the company you're buying it from so stick with the bigger sort of breakers um if you want some advice i've used various companies in the past for sort of spare parts and things like that um but yeah so i hope that helps so yeah so the summary is um there's not an option for a sort of extra batteries in the boot or underneath or anything like that and i kind of wouldn't recommend that anyway to be honest from what i've seen um having seen those systems in action um, but yeah, the 22 and the 40, you can swap those around. So if you can find a 40 battery, stick it in your 22. Maybe give them, if it's battery lease, give them the battery back, which is another fun and games. Um, but yeah, 52, more difficult, but it is still possible. Um, and if you want to know details of sort of the guy or different companies that can do the cam bridges for those, um, then I can provide them. So yeah, any questions, let me know. And I uh, hope that helps. Cheers.